Well, it was March 5 of 2012 when Secretary of the Navy, CNO, Nick Pond, Commandant of the Marine Corps, and the Sergeant Major of the Marine Corps stood together in the hangar bay of the USS Baton and rolled out the 21st Century Sailor and Marine Program. And it was built on this premise that we knew 10 years into the longest sustained combat operations in American history. And with the then freshly uh, rolled out national strategy that was about the rebalance to the Asia Pacific, and that by any objective analysis uh, was a sea service centric strategy. It was based on the Navy and Marine Corps. We also knew that we'd be down one carrier when Enterprise retired, and we waited for the Ford class carrier to, uh, to come, on board, to come um, into the force. So we knew that the operational tempo that our folks had experienced over the last 10 years um, was likely to stay exactly the same, if not be heightened. And that's why uh, uh, what led to this program. Now, a year later, uh, as we stare down sequestration, uh, that impact and that need for an operational tempo has only been heightened and multiplied exponentially. We've seen a historic, uh, historically short turnarounds of, uh, on the east coast of the Eisenhower and the west coast of Stennis. The Marine returned to their amphibious roots. Now more Marines uh, aboard Navy ships than there are boots on the ground in Afghanistan. Um, and with one carrier tied up uh, Pearside, the Truman, uh, on the east coast. Uh, the need for support programs to ensure our folks have the tools they and their families need to succeed and excel in the coming decade um, has never been more important.